Library Larry welcoming you to Three Crosses Kids. Today we have a stupendous program for you. We're learning, <laughs> and I love to learn. We're learning all about how God creates the world with our big idea being God created everything. Everything. So stay tuned as we <laughs> learn some more. I was trying to make a lion, but it looks more like a walrus. I know. I'm not very good at drawing. I was trying to draw my mom, uh, but it's not very good either. It looks like Peppa Pig. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> do you, don't you wonder how God created all of us? I do. And I wonder how he created animals too. Have you ever watched those YouTube videos of panda bears? They are so funny, as they roll around and they play. I know, and that baby hippo that was born in the Cleveland Zoo, Fiona? She's the cutest thing ever. I wonder what God was thinking when he designed dolls. And I remember our camping trip this summer. We saw so many amazing things. Those mountains. And the trees. They were the biggest, tallest trees I've ever seen. And remember when we were lying on the grass, looking up at the clouds? God made those too. You know, Sabrina, God's word, the Bible, says that he created all things so we can see him on earth. Yeah, those things are so beautiful and majestic that we can't help but think of our amazing God when we look at them. That's so cool. It's awesome to think that God created everything. And think about it, he made you and me. We are so special. He gave us arms and legs and heart and brains and a tail. <laughs> and you know, we're supposed to use all our parts for his glory. Like even with playing sports and the violin. And make art. Uh, we can all do that for God's glory. Come on, let's try to draw Fiona the hippo and see if we can make her look like a hippo. Good idea. Today we're playing I Spy. Let's see if you can help Phil guess this next one. I spy with my little eye something blue. Is it the stall? Nope. Is it the bookshelf? Nope, not the bookshelf. Oh man, can I get another clue? This would be a lot easier if I weren't colorblind. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm Sorry, Phil. Here's a better clue. Um, he sports some really cool glasses, a dapper bow tie, and God created animals just like him on the sixth day when he created the world. Oh, oh no! Oh no! It's Billy! <laughs> yes! That's right, Phil! Hi, Phil. My name is Pauline, ma'am. I came to hear about God's story today. I just, I just couldn't wait. Oh, wow! Well, you came at the right time. We were just playing a game about just that. You were? Yes. We were playing I Spy, trying to find out what God created. We were on day six when God created man and animals. That was in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1 to 25. Yes, Billy, you're right. I do like to read, so I just jumped ahead and read my Bible. Oh, I could. I can play too? Of course. When we get a brand new toy from the store, we often have a bunch of parts that we have to put together. All the parts are in a box, but there's a certain way it all comes together to work properly. When God made the world, he didn't have to go to the store. He just had to speak the words and they appeared, just like this. Let there be a fun toy. Now these are just a bunch of parts and someone's supposed to think about it and figure out how to put it all together. 
and do what it's supposed to do. God was that someone who created everything to work perfectly, just like this. Now we have our marble run all working properly. He just had to say it and all the things he created work just the right way. Let's see how this marble run works. Ready, Phil? Wow. And we are talking about creation, the way God made the world and everything in it. Today, we will start at the very beginning. And that the beginning of the Bible is the book of Genesis. In Genesis 1.1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth didn't have any shape, and it was empty. There was darkness over the surface of the waves, and at the time, the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. You see, God was here. He existed before anything else was, and then he started creating. I spy with my little eye something happening in our book over there. Let's go to our book and see what the Green family has to show us. We learned that God made the world. On day one, God separated the light from the darkness. On day two, God made the sky and the water. On day three, God made the land and the plants. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. On the day five, God made the birds and the fish. On day six, God made the animals, and then from the death, God made the most wonderful creature of all, a person. God named him Adam. And on day seven, God, God rested. rested! Thank you, Green family. Thank you for reminding us that everything here was created by God. God saw everything that he made, and he loved them so much that he was even able to rest after and they were made perfectly. It's amazing to see the love and care God took to make everything in the world. This week, ask someone to play I Spy With You, just like my friends and I did today. Think about all the wonderful things that God has made and see if you can find those things around you. Take time to talk about how creative God is, and while you play, praise him and thank him for the amazing work that he does. We have an amazing God who has power over everything. Just speaking words and everything in the world appeared. We can see by just looking at the beauty of nature, the sky, plants, and animals that what he created, he loved so much. And we can see how much he loves us by sending us Jesus. What a beautiful way to show us his love by sending us Jesus. In John 15, 13, it says, No one has greater love than one who gives their life for their friends. And that is what Jesus came into this world to do, to die for us so our sins can be forgiven. He did it all for us. We just have to believe in him. Let's pray. Thank you so much, God, for the amazing and beautiful work of creation, that we see such beauty and majesty in your glory in all the things around the world. I thank you for sending us Jesus and how you loved us so much, Lord. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, Miss Pauline, ma'am. I definitely want to learn more about Jesus. And I'm excited to tell you all about him. Sst, sst. Peel, Miss Pauline, Billy, I made lumpia. Come to the casino. Oh, that means the kitchen. You know, Miss Pauline. God makes some really good stuff, but you know what Mama McClane makes that's really good? Really, really good, good lumpia. <laughs> See you next time, kids. And don't forget to watch God's story come alive right after this. I thought you were through with Sir Godwin. I know, but I was in the middle of the book and I wanted to see how it ended. Hmm. Well, you are an amazing boy, Tyler. 
And it's time for bed. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the life that you've given to us. For this planet that we live on, Lord, we are so grateful. For the trees and the parks, sunsets and beaches and oceans. And thank you so much, particularly for this fellow right here, Lord. Let's pray that you give him a great night's sleep. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you, buddy. Love you, Dad. I was wondering when you'd show up again. Wow! You look like you've been working hard. You're a lot further. Uh, yes, but today there's no time to waste. For today, I've got something else to do. More important than copying God's word? Yes, I'm going to share God's word with someone. Who? Why don't you come along? Here, wrap this around you. It'll hide your funny clothes. What did you call them again? Uh, BPs? <laughs> Not BPs. PJs, you know, the thing to sleep in. Jerry's. Hmm. Well, come along, lad. We've got a fair bit of walking to do. And by the way, what's your name? Uh, Tyler. Sir, what's yours? Hubert. <laughs> Hubert. I get that uh, a lot. Now, just follow my lead and do what I do. And by all that is holy, do not stare at the thing on the end of his nose. The thing on the end of his nose? Yes, sir. Hear ye, hear ye, announcing Sir Hubert the Humble. And what is it you want? And who is this funny looking child you bring with you today? Thank you, your royal highness. This is uh, Tyler. Tyler? Tyler of what? Tyler of the funny clothes? What is it with you and my PJs? Tyler? The, the, the brain! Uh, yes, Tyler. The brain! Hmm. Well, we shall see. Anyway, what is it you waste my time with this day? After all, there are many more important things I could be doing. I am the king, after all. The king of all the world. Your Royal Highness, I have come on an important mission and to give you the greatest gift of all time. <laughs> a book. You come to me, and the greatest gift you can muster is a book. Laughable! But it's not just a book, it's God's word. And I would like to tell you about a king, another king other than yourself, who is the king of the universe. Indeed, he is God and he created the universe and all is in it. You come to me and speak of a king greater than I. I rule all the lands in the world. I control all that you see. I command the very air you breathe. Sir, I would like to tell you about God and his son, Jesus Christ. I beseech you, sir, to open your heart and confess your sins. He is kind and a forgiving God. He only wants to know you. Forgive my sins? I justify myself to no one. I make no excuses for what I do or what I take. I require no forgiveness from anyone. Out! Get out with both of you! And stop staring at my nose! But, sir... Get out, or I shall cut off both of your noses! Go! Away with you! Out! No. No, I like my nose. I like it. Stop! Tyler! Tyler! No, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler! Hey, Tyler! Ah. Hey, buddy! Buddy! I'm here! It's okay, man! Oh, oh Dad! Dad! Oh, this one. Okay, okay, it was the it was this most horrible thing and it, that was getting you if I had cut off my nose. It's, it's, it's sore. Yes, you still have a nose. Okay. I think I'm bad now. 
I think you're gonna have to stop reading stories before going to bed at night. Is it? Is it? Just. I know. If I know. I know that God created the world. And not some cruel king with the horn on the end of his nose. I told you it would be exciting! Be sure to send in your memory verse videos to kids at threecauses.org. You have to send it in by September 26 to qualify. You might win a prize like a Bunsen burner or an atom splitter. I mean, or, or a toy or a squishy, but one can hope. And we're having a Zoom review party on September 27th at 12.30, where we'll reveal the winner. You won't want to miss that. And <laughs> let me leave you with more hilarity. What does a tectonic plate say when you bump into another? Sorry. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> uh, see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.